Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Deep under the waves, the ocean is not just a dark place. The underwater landscapes hold ancient events, mysterious animal behavior, and vast gardens of glass and octopuses. Each contributes new facts and riddles to this incredible aquatic world. However, the ocean also has a scary side, from wrecking the weather on land to blowing giant holes in the seafloor and countries. Number 7. Loudest Fish Each spring, over a million fish migrate to a small patch of the Gulf of California to spawn. Now, thanks to new research by Brad Arisman at the University of Texas at Austin's Marine Science Institute and his colleagues published in the Journal of Biology Letters, we know that the Gulf Corvina are the loudest known fish on the planet. In 2014, scientists followed the spawning shoal and used underwater equipment to record their sounds. The loudest noise captured during the study hit a deafening 150 decibels, which is a record among fish. Together, these fish produce sounds as loud as 202 decibels, louder than a chainsaw, and easily loud enough to damage human ears. Researchers believe the male corvinas are responsible for the chorus. Similar to frogs and crickets, the boys produce a throaty croak to attract females. Earlier this year, the researchers published a method for estimating the number of fish in a spawning aggregation based on the intensity of mating calls, which could become an important tool for conservation. The Gulf Corvina appear to be declining due to overfishing. Lots of fishes are heavily exploited and endangered because of this amazing behavior where they come together to spawn, which makes them extremely vulnerable. Arisman was quoted as saying in the article by Scientific American. Number 6. Return of the Blob The blob is not as adorable as it sounds. The blob is a mass of relatively warm water in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of North America. It was first detected in late 2013 and continued to spread throughout 2014 and 2015. Sea surface temperatures indicated that the blob persisted into 2016 but was thought to have dissipated later that year. By September 2016, the blob resurfaced and made itself known to meteorologists. This warm water mass is unusual in ocean conditions and is considered to have a role in the formation of the unusual weather conditions felt in the Pacific coast of North America. The warm waters of the blob are nutrient poor and have adversely affected marine life. In 2018, the return of the oceanic hotspot was caused by unusually warm weather in Alaska during the fall. Though the blob is famously crabby, it remains hard to predict the phenomenon's moods. Either way, Alaska has already suffered notable damages. The southeastern rainforest is in the grip of a persistent drought, and snowfall showed a record delay. Number 5. Rectangular Iceberg A strikingly rectangular, naturally formed ice sheet has been spotted by NASA during a regular flyover on October 16, 2018. It looks nothing like the craggy, uneven mass that sank the Titanic, perhaps the most famous iceberg ever. It was during one of these regular surveillance flights that senior support scientist Jeremy Harbeck spotted an unusually angular iceberg floating just off the Larsen Sea ice shelf. I often see icebergs with relatively straight edges, but I've not seen one before with two corners at such right angles like this one had, Harbeck said in a statement. A whopping 90% of the tabular iceberg remains hidden underwater. This unseen part is usually perfectly angular too. In this case, the sheet came from the Larsen Sea ice shelf on the Antarctic Peninsula. Even though these floating tabletops are known to science, this one was unusual. For once, it was almost short enough to be a square. The size of the object remains unknown, but judging from the image, it could be as long as 1.6 kilometers, one mile. Scientists have repeatedly warned that the world's sea ice is in danger of completely disappearing as the effects of climate change continue to be felt. Even some of the Arctic's oldest ice has begun to melt. Number 4. Largest Octopus Nursery A crew of deep-sea explorers that roamed the ocean floor off the coast of Monterey, California, got the surprise of a lifetime when they came across the unprecedented sight of hundreds and hundreds of octopuses, stretching as far as the eye could see. A discovery of this magnitude has never happened off the California coast or anywhere else in the world. Off the coast of California, marine biologists steered a remotely operated vehicle at a depth of 3.2 kilometers, 2 miles. The goal was to study an underwater volcano called the Davidson Seamount. 
As the vehicle turned a corner, it happened across the world's biggest deep-sea octopus garden. The species was Musoctopus robustus, and over 1,000 huddled together. Nearly 99% were females guarding eggs between the volcano's cracks. Amazingly, the discovery comes just months after scientists reported the only other deep-sea octopus nursery on record, an aggregation of around 100 octopuses along the Dorado outcrop off Costa Rica. While the new footage offers an exciting glimpse into the lives of these creatures, it also reveals how little we know about these octopuses and the environment they inhabit. Number 3. Garden of Glass In December 2015, deep-sea researchers discovered a garden of glass on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. When the deepest volcano was found in 2015, it was not just a shaped mountain lower than the rest. It was anything but simple and very unexpected. An underwater volcano had uncovered intertwined and blackened lava vines that scientists had compared to a nightmarish garden of glass. Within a 4.5-kilometer deep, 3-mile ditch, cold water, the lava had rapidly cooled to a glassy substance. The frozen turns covered an area of 7.3 kilometers in length. Like a nightmarish Dale Chihuly exhibit, black tendrils of rapidly cooled lava poured out on an undersea volcano and hung frozen in the dark gallery of the Pacific, unable to fully crystallize in the cold water. The pillowy lava formation stretched out for 4.5 miles, 7.3 kilometers, carpeting the floor of a trench nearly 3 miles or 4.5 kilometers below the water surface. It was an exciting find, not only because of the spectacular visuals, but also because the glassy lava formations appeared relatively fresh. In fact, this is the deepest known volcanic eruption on Earth. Number 2. White Shark Cafe About 1,200 nautical miles east of Hawaii lies a patch of ocean that researchers had thought to be a desert of sorts. But for reasons unknown to them, each winter a group of sharks confused biologists. Known as the Great Whites of the Pacific Northeast, they usually traverse the California coast for a sojourn from the middle of nowhere. In December, the sharks travel to the Pacific and stop about halfway to Hawaii. Hoping to uncover the secret lives of the mysterious great white shark, scientists at Stanford University and Monterey Bay Aquarium in California led an expedition to what's been dubbed the White Shark Cafe. Satellite surveys indicated that the place was a no-prey marine desert. Nevertheless, the predators gathered in droves and stayed for winter and spring. In 2018, scientists wanted to know how the shark survived and why they found the place so attractive. They followed the whites and also marked some. When the research boat arrived at the cafe, they found their place full of fish, squid, phytoplankton, and jellyfish. During their stay in the Pacific, the sharks kept to a surprising schedule. In the daytime, they would dive down to 1,400 feet to an area known as the Midwater that's on the edge of complete darkness and is populated by bioluminescent fish, and ascend to shallower waters around 650 feet below the surface every night. Number 1. Lost Volcanic World Scientists have discovered a stunning volcanic lost world off the coast of Tasmania. A chain of seamounts or undersea mountains were spotted in deep water, offering the first glimpse of a spectacular underwater world. Some were sharp, while others resembled large plateaus. Smaller cones made up the rest. The extinct volcanoes were located near the east coast of Australia and were 3 kilometers high. Scientists say that the mountains rise up to 3,000 meters from the seafloor, but the highest peaks are still 2,000 meters beneath the waves. The depth of the valleys probably contributed to this underwater wonderland having avoided recognition for so long. The highest part of the mountains were still two kilometers below the surface. Years of research are required to understand a large geographic area that is being seen for the first time. However, the researchers say they have an exciting suspicion. This was the place where Australia and the Antarctic separated 30 million years ago. Research also suggests that the seamounts may be an important stopping point for some migratory animals, particularly whales, which may use the undersea features to help navigation. These seamounts may act as an important signpost on an underwater migratory highway for the humpback whales we saw moving from their winter breeding to summer feeding grounds, said Dr. Wohler. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. 
do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.